Okay, welcome everybody to our team call, our national nationwide team call. Makes it sound big, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but uh, no, I just want to welcome everyone. It is actually a national team wide call. We got people from all over the place joining. So um, it is Wednesday, April 7th, 2016. No, Thursday. Thursday, April 7th. April um, oh 7th. My gosh. <laughs> See, look at Gretchen. You got to keep You're practicing. Fired. I'm Gretchen fired. fired <laughs> Gretchen's she's, just saying, she's what? on mute and she's still <laughs> fired. <you. laughs> all right. See, that's why you can't be shy about doing these things because people mess up all the time. So anyway, um, <laughs> tonight's call is uh, I hope it's going to bring a lot of value to you guys. Um, we came up with this topic on our diamond call on our team. Stay true uh, leadership diamond call that we have. And this was just a hot topic for the week that we wanted to discuss and it went so well and I think we were thinking about different things and brainstorming together that we thought, okay, this is something that we absolutely want to and need to share with everybody on the team. So um, that's what we're doing tonight. So on tonight's call, we're going to kind of jump around from presenter to presenter. Um, you know, Gretchen wanted to speak again on the call, so she was definitely in on that. <laughs> and. Uh, so, um, no, but uh, so you'll hear from, a di you know, a couple of the diamond coaches on the team here about different ways to recruit. And before we jump into that, I do want to give our weekly recognition um, with the team volume points. And um, so this was for last week. And again, in order to make this list, I know I repeat this every week, but there's new people jumping on the call all the time and listening. So in order to make the list that I'm about to go over and recognize, you have to have 100 team volume points in your um, business center for the week before. So the week that ended yesterday um, is are the people that I'm recognizing today. Um, so leading the way on the team was Beth Akins with 645 points. So awesome job, Beth. Um, <coughs> Dan Barry, 440 points. Gretchen Namoff, 352 points. Courtney Miller, 315 points. Todd Kreitz, uh, 270 points. Lisa McClay, 270 points. Eugene Parker, 262 points. Christine Schwartz, 225 points. Kieran Stout, 220 points. Uh, Glenn Akins, 195 points. Alicia Kelly, 189 points. Miss Beto Walker, 187 points. Jessica Mag, 180 points. Lindsay Fleming, 180 points. William Bronlich, 170 points. Holly, wow, Holly <laughs> Badalamente, yeah. 160 points. Tina Sparks, 160 points. Rachel Wacker, 135 points. Andrea Evanich, uh, 130 points. Heather Lettermoser, 120 points. Jennifer Novak, 114 points. Stacy Francisco, 111 points. Christina Schneider, 110 points. Rachel Davis, 105 points. Morgan Moore, 105 points. And Mr. Ernie Cash, 100 points. So good job to everybody that um, was able to get 100 uh, team volume points come through their business center this past week. And I want to recognize Glenn really quick. He is officially three-star today. So Yes, first day as a three-star coach. I'll post so. something on, my, on his wall and we can all... I'll find a good shirtless picture of him and then post that. <laughs> you guys can all comment on it to cheer him on. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I mean, when, it, when you look at the star diamond ranks and everything like that, um, you guys will learn as you achieve those ranks that it, you know, it, it really, you really lean on and depend on your downline through that whole qualifying time. And so I just want to thank the, you know, um, Jen Novak, Beth and Dan and, you know, for you, thank you guys for encouraging your team to stay active. And, you know, it, it kind of shows the importance of making sure and ch checking your sponsorship drill down, drill down uh, sheet each week to make sure that you have your coaches underneath you who are active and who's going in active. And so um, truly when you do get a star diamond rank advancement, it really is giving a lot of, uh, props to your downline so Definitely. you know it's it's something that you truly understand and see the value of the team atmosphere at that point um 
So yeah, let's uh, jump on to the topic tonight of recruiting. And uh, basically, <clears throat> I'm going to start off just by saying that, you know, there's, we hold a lot of team events where you guys can pull people in and, and invite people to these events uh, to help you guys recruit. Um, we have our team sneak peeks. So it's, you know, we kind of call it a backstage pass, sneak peek. We, you know, we use those terms pretty loosely and overlap one another. But um, <laughs> if you haven't been on that, that's usually we hold those on Sunday evenings. Um, or if we have a group of people who are ready to go and want to see it prior to waiting until Sunday, we'll run one. Um, but it's an hour long. It's an, an event, a Facebook event format where people join and um, – the coaches who have people on that call will go ahead and um, be on a Zoom call and answering the questions and things like that. So we try to make it as interactive as we can. I always look at that as kind of a non-threatening way to invite people because we don't see them. The only way we know that they're there and that they exist and they're tuning in is if they are commenting and asking questions or liking posts. So. Um, you know, you can always say with confidence or tell them that, you know, you're not on a video, you're not on a phone call, you can sit there and do it, you know, without us even really knowing you're there. Um, challenge group participants, that's another key way to recruit. Um, Courtney's going to go into a little bit more detail on a method that she has learned and has really um, is starting to utilize uh, that, you know, she's found some success with. Uh, doing three-way calls. I don't do many of these, but, you know, that is an effective way of um, recruiting. If you guys are newer coaches or um, even if you are you're a seasoned coach and you're just a little nervous about this prospect and you want to have someone from your upline be on the call with you, I'm, I'd be more than happy to jump on a three-way call. I know Beth would. I know a lot of the, you know, Gretchen and or I, all of us probably would. So I, I just say, just call somebody, text somebody, see if we're available. Um, and that's a great way to get questions answered, things like that. Um, asking your new coaches to give you their list of five to 10 people who they think might be good coaching prospects. Um, and then helping them talk to those people, helping them invite them. Because remember, they're brand new coaches, so they, may, they, they don't even know what the sneak peek is. So um, but encouraging them to, um, you know, share that list with you and really trying to get them off to a quick start. So those are some of the more common basic ways to recruit. And there's probably some that I'm missing. However, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Beth. So no, she I'll go last because I have a, I'll condense mine at the end, depending on how much time we have. Okay, so I'll let the girls go. I'm going to start with Courtney. Why don't we start with you, Courtney? I'm going to unmute you. Okay, you're unmuted. Go ahead. Okay, so something I've just started trying and it's working for me is um, we know that the best coaches come from people who have had success in challenge groups. So when I'm about halfway through my challenge group, I will kind of reach out to someone who I think would be a good coach and just say, hey, you know, on Wednesday, I've got a really busy day. Would you mind kind of filling in as a coach for the day type thing? I'll give you the post and all the information. It's real simple. You know, just comment on anybody that posts in there and, and encourage them. And so, you know, that gives them the opportunity to give it a try. And they kind of see how exciting it can be when people are having progress and there's encouragement. Um, and something else I'm doing, I'm going on vacation next week. And so I'm actually going to be off the grid for about five days and reached out to a few girls in our current group and just said, Hey, um, I'm not going to be around. Can you guys handle this? And they were more than excited to help. And so, um, those are the people who, as soon as I get back from vacation, I'm going to start talking to about really, uh, working the business and becoming coaches. So that's something I'm trying. Um, it doesn't mean you, you know, aren't available you just you might be a little busy that day so let someone else kind of jump in and see how they like it and I would even add to that too Courtney like some of them I've found even if you you don't even have to give them the post but you could say you know what all you have to do is find like one of your favorite motivational posts or one of your favorite recipes and then you know because some of them they love coming up with it even on their own so I mean, depends on how confident they are, but 
that's would be another avenue. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Do you want to unmute? Mark sure. Let me go ahead and mute Courtney here, and then I'm going to unmute Gretchen. All right, Gretchen, you're on. Um, one of the things that I've been doing is getting my challengers, getting my challengers right, like at the beginning. Um, the ones that are posting a lot, and I plant the seed right away. Um, just, we started a new group. I can't, there's quite a few going on right now, but I was noticing that they were posting quite a bit, like in the morning, in the morning. And so I just said to her, like, what is your day job? And, you know, she came back and said, she works a couple of days, like as an RN. And we got into a conversation about, you know, imagine her getting healthy and she is posting like every day in this group and she's commenting on everyone else's posts and because i reached out to her and said can you imagine doing this with your friends and with your coworkers?" she is grateful and she's like i never thought about doing it that way but can you call my friend she wants a three-day refresh and i was like okay dude i'd love to have the money you know right up front but do you see what you're doing you're already getting you know your referrals these people that are posting in your challenge groups and these people that are posting all the time you know in uh, keep it real they're they're waiting for us they're not going to come to us and say knock 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 i'd love to be a coach that is just in our dreams i mean it happens to glenn all the time but it doesn't happen to us <laughs> um so these guys, when we put the seed in there and then they just start commenting and commenting, then their friends start being like, oh, you just, they're, they're talking nice and they're talking back and forth and they're going to be your next coach. These people in the challenge groups, they are your next coach. Don't wait till the last week of the challenge group. Yes, there's that video that we try to post in the last week to say, can you read this? Or can you watch this and you know let me know what you think? That's great and everything. But if you get them at the beginning, and this is just kind of new, I did it just a couple months ago, but if you get them at the beginning of the challenge group as they're going, they're more likely to join in and grab people before the challenge group is even over and they're ready to fly and start the new one. Um, so I talked about planting the seeds last time. This is nothing new to you guys. So grab them early on in the challenge groups. Don't wait till the end of the challenge groups. Okay. All right. Thank you, Gretchen. How about Moppy? Let me unmute you. Hold on. Okay, you're unmuted. Okay, so um, I just thought I'd talk to you about what I struggle with. I am... Um, First of all, I am, when I offer the opportunity to coaching, I'm pretty good about offering it when it comes to saving money and getting the discount. And if you're drinking Shakeology, it's not a no-brainer, really, to be a coach and uh, get the discount. But um, in the area where I struggle with is um, when I heard uh, some of my friends say, you know, they wanted to get a second job or they were thinking about doing extra hours at a store. Um, and those opportunities, I totally missed them because, um, or I didn't take advantage of them at the time because I was scared. I was scared of saying, hey, I have this great opportunity that you actually could make more money than doing extra hours at a store and you can do it from the comfort of your own home. And you don't have to, um, you know, go anywhere. You can do it whenever it's uh, best for you. You can work around your schedule. And um, with the help of uh, other successful, successful coaches on the team, I've been um, getting out there and just mentioning it and being proud of what I do. Um, and that, that takes a little bit of courage on, on my end just because I'm not um, – that's not my strength, but I do have to say that it pays off. You have to be proud of what you're doing and you have to know and be aware that um, you shouldn't 
you shouldn't be, you should not be feeling sorry or um, embarrassed to say what you do. You shouldn't hide it. You should come out and say, yes, you know, this is what I do and it is a great opportunity and you should do it too. You don't have to vomit all that information on what Beachbody coaching is about, but you, like Gretchen said, said you have to like plant the seed and uh, maybe just make them a little bit, um, you know, curious about what you do. Uh, and then just have that conversation with them about the opportunity. So that's just my two cents. Yeah, that's awesome, Moppy. Thank you. And this this whole call idea was Moppy's idea. Like in our mastermind call, every we each pick a topic. So this was hers, and we're glad she brought it up because it made us all kind of dig into um, things we do now and things we could be doing. So. I, I like took, I've just been taking a bunch of notes as I've watched other top coach videos and things. So I'm just going to share with you guys kind of, this is probably freaking Glenn out because instead of a PowerPoint, it's like two notebooks. <laughs> I don't get But it. the one thing I read that I loved was when you're sharing this, so we call it recruiting, but recruiting t tends to give like a boss or like I'm a superior and I'm recruiting people under me but if you if you think of it as sponsoring new coaches on your team sponsoring to people that you're bringing on sounds like more of a coach mentor friendship kind of thing so I really liked that wording um, and also I think it's good to remember to like change our language so in, when I'm posting on my wall I'm not usually saying I if I'm talking about the team or you know people joining us I say we because I really think of all of you guys like team stay true it's not gl just Glenn and I now thank I mean it was Glenn and I and now I'm like thankfully we have this whole team of really awesome people so definitely like use that say our team or we or like if you're talking to a coach prospect <clears throat> excuse me go ahead and like kind of assume the almost like assume the sale and if it's a challenge group participant you can say i can't i'm so excited i can't wait for you to be texting me you know 10 days into our challenge group and telling me how great you're gonna feel or if it's a coach um i can't wait to introduce you to into my team page you can meet everyone and um see how supportive they are so i definitely agree with what moppy said like you have to be passionate about this if you're iffy about it about the business or and the same goes for the products if you're iffy about it people feel that like if you're not confident i mean if someone asks me about shakeology i'm not gonna say oh yeah it's good i mean i know we have a lot of you know there's a lot of other good ones out there no i'm like yes yeah, shakeology is awesome if you want to maximize your results you got to try it you know so believe in it and believe in the opportunity too so one thing i was listening to a call last week and she said and this was from a this was from I think Bonnie Engel she said if you if I was to go to all of your pages now and just kind of scroll through as like a random person not as a coach on your team would I know what you do so when you think of post posting about your coaching opportunity we need to be posting about coaching one time a day or four to five times a week and that doesn't mean you know like i'll invite to the coach sneak peek okay that's one time but maybe like this morning i posted um something about like being in my pajamas still after i got everyone off to school and i hadn't worked out yet but like that was my choice that's what's so awesome about being my own boss so just little like snippets about coaching and why you like it why um why it works for you um the other thing that I thought was an awesome suggestion was handling objections right on your page. So say you post like you're holding your Shakeology and you're saying awesome, healthy meal on the go. If someone then comments on there like, yeah, but Shakeology is so expensive, go ahead and handle some, don't just, don't just think, oh, I'm just going to message them privately. Or if they ask you a question about your challenge group go ahead and do some of that interacting right on your page because people are watching and you may you know they 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 may not see the post or they may not 
actually like the post so you know that they've seen it. But just handling some of those things right on your page so people can, it, you know, it'll answer some of their questions too and maybe spark an interest in them. Um, let's see, what else did I have here? Make sure people know you have an opportunity for them. And we've been saying this all along. If you do not share the opportunity, whether it is, I mean, I always, if someone is on Shakeology in their first month of the challenge group and they love it, you have to offer them the coaching. You don't have to be, you know, you can just be simple about it and just say, I'm so glad that you're loving Shakeology. I want to let you know that you there is an opportunity to get it at a discount. Would you like more information? So you don't have to, you know, like Moppy said, give all the information at once and scare them away. But if you don't offer them this opportunity, someone else will. So definitely make sure that your customers know, even if they just want to do it for a discount. I don't ever like turn someone away just because they, they don't want to work the business. I mean, I have a lot of discount coaches on my team and that is fine. Like they love Shakeology. They're still healthy. They've been in a bunch of my challenge groups hey, and they, you. yeah, they'll refer people to me. So don't ever, you know, like discount the value in that. Um, Cause it really does help. So on your back to the, on your social media page, like are people going to see that, you're a fitness coach and I don't have team beat like coach at team beach body. I actually don't have that right on my page because as I'm friend requesting people, I don't want them to be like, Oh gosh, she's just going to try to sell me something. I mean, I, our LLC and our company we had before we started coaching was summit health and wellness. So I actually just have that and you can have wellness coach or something like that. But when people scroll through my news feed, they definitely would see like I post about workouts or I post about you guys. Like I'm always shouting out um, team stay true with volume points or like our team, you know, like this call. Sometimes I'll take a picture of this call. Um, but just if they go to your page, are they going to see that you're a fitness coach? Are they going to see that you run groups, you know, have some challenge groups invites right on the page. Um, also, are they seeing that you mentor people in this business? So I, that's another great reason to post, like, if a coach under you does something great, like, shout them out. I mean, I, even if one of your um, challengers does something great, now, a lot of times, I'm more discreet with that, because maybe they don't want me to say, like, oh, Moppy lost 10 pounds, you know, but if they're okay with you mentioning it, or I'll just put a little blurb, like, this is why I love my job and right on the page, right on my page is a quote from someone, even though I don't give their name, you know, and it tells their success. Um, so just make, make the posts you and your brand, but make sure that you're sharing like the things that you love about Beachbody. An action step for all of you would be to make a list of things that attracted you to coaching or attracted you to Beachbody. Like, what do you think is cool about this job? And then start posting about that. Like, make a list of, I mean, I love the freedom. I'm a total wonder. You guys know that. I love to travel. I love to be on the road. Thankfully, I have a husband that's like, sure, okay, where do you want to go now? Um, and we do that together. But that's also, I mean, people notice that. People will see us and say, gosh, you guys, like, you're, where are you going now? But that is a great way to promote, like, hey, Beachbody, we can work from anywhere. So that I share that a lot because that's something that's important to me. But um, whatever, it, whatever it is that's important to you, share it on there because people that, you know, that's going to get people to connect with you as well. Um, I'm going to stop now because it's at 930. But. Well, I mean, do you have... Two more no. pages of information. No, this is not necessarily <laughs> for right now. But I think the biggest thing is like, if you believe in this, then post about it and be excited about it. Be enthusiastic about it. And don't be afraid to share it in unique ways, like a funny story. And then this is why I love my job. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be you're invited to our next, next coach sneak peek. Or Unless you're red, then yeah, then it will be so. Well, yeah, <laughs> but that's what I mean. Everyone's different. And, and that's why we say like, that is the awesome thing about a team because like Moppy's going to reach people 
in a different way than I am. Different people are going to be attracted to her than they are to me. Gretchen's going to reach different people. Glenn's going to reach different people. So the bigger we are, I mean, our main purpose here is to help as many people as possible. And the bigger our team is, the more people we're going to reach. Right. And um, speaking of growing and growth and everything, I see we have like, there's like 12 new coaches just this past couple of days in our, in our downline. So if you're one of them or if um, you are a new coach, make sure that you're getting the coach onboarding process going. We have a whole system for that. Um, I, this is my first time seeing Nick on the call. So welcome, yeah, Nick. Yeah, this is his first week. Uh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, but, you know, I just like to make sure that, you know, keep in mind there's a lot of people coming on board. Make sure you're getting the um, onboarding process, the emails to them. Make sure they're doing the personality test as weird and crazy as that seems. I know if I was told that when I first joined a team, I'd be like, what in the world is this personality test? But it, it's awesome. It'll help us all be able to relate to each other better. Um, so even if you're a seasoned coach or a veteran on the call here, I would say if you haven't done the personality test, then make sure you do that. Yeah. Um, if you haven't gotten some of that info, Nick, then message <laughs> one of us and we'll help you. Um, Sure. You know, we'll help get those initial emails to you too. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to open it up to uh, Q and a, if you need to jump off because it is nine 30, feel free. We won't be offended by that. Um, unless it's Gretchen, she needs to stay on the call with us. So, um, <laughs> she has to go to bed. <laughs> I know that's why I purposely pointed her out that she needed to stay. So, um, give me one second here and I'm going to unmute all. All right, so everyone's on mute. Any calls or any questions, uh, go ahead and raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Then I had to mute you, Jennifer. You were uh, giving a little feedback. So just raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> any questions? All right. Well, Beto's shaking her head no, so it's time to go. <laughs> I got to read my girl code. Yeah, so I mean, we don't want to interfere with that. <laughs> yeah, I've got to read that too, so. Well, I told Glenn he should read it and just, you know, think of it in manly terms. You could do that. With his booty shorts on? <laughs> <laughs> booty shorts. <laughs> Moppy, what can pictures you did you show her? No, I... <laughs> I guess I need to give you the turbo fire shorts. The turbo oh, fire the turbo fire shorts. shorts. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Stop the recording. All right. <laughs>